everyone, Blake here. At the end of last summer, my sister Bree and I discovered the Comics Cafe. Since then, we learned a lot about making coffee. I liked your idea for a new coffee drink. The Bree Special. Awesome. I hope you know, Bree. You will always be accepted here at Comics Cafe, just as you are. We learned about ourselves. How can God love me even after I messed up? Well, that's the wonderful thing about God. He shows us that love isn't a feeling. Love is a choice. And we've learned about God, too. How do you know Jesus actually, like, came back to life? Like, do you think he's really God? I do. We've come a long way at the Comics Cafe this year. But now, all that might be coming to a close. It all started when a new cafe called Sunbound came to town. In today's news, people across town are refusing to shop at both of our local cafes after their bitter rivalry hit new heights. We were already having money problems and we've lost a lot of customers, so we can't stay open. Mrs. Carey, you're selling the cafe? We're hoping that it will still be a comic book store and we'll tell the new owners what great workers you are so you can still work here. We couldn't believe it. We wouldn't. This is the week we tried everything to save the Comics Cafe. Well, uh, looks like our customers are going back to Sunbound again. What? Why? Oh, well, you know, they're just giving away free coffee, calling it the sellout special. Because we're selling our cafe. Ugh, they're so mean. But we can't stay mad at Sunbound. Okay, we have to forgive. I think that's very wise, Taylor. Is there anything we can do? No, Bray, we passed our deadline for all our loan payments, and so now the company is asking for all of the money at once. Okay, I only understood, like, four of those words. Basically, we have to come up with $100,000 to keep the cafe. $100,000? We can raise that. I'll sign some autographs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can go around town, I could sell some comic books. Yeah. Be like a newsie, you know, just like a... I might be able to uh, sell some of my robotic stuff. Everyone, it's okay. It's been a wonderful year. We've treasured every moment with each of you. I know what to do. We should pray. Oh, that's a great idea. God, please save the Comics Cafe. Drop $100,000 from the sky or something. We all love this place and you can't let it go away. Amen. And God, thank you for all that has happened this year. And whatever your will is for the Comics Cafe, let that happen, even if it's not what we want. Amen. Scurby, why would you ask God to not do what we want? Well, God might do what we want, but prayer isn't about getting what we want. It's about seeing what God wants. Yeah, that makes no sense. All I know is that God has to answer this prayer. Okay, he, he just has to. Just don't be too disappointed if it doesn't happen how you want, okay? Oh, it's, it's Brightside Comics. Uh, maybe they want to make an offer? Yeah, I'll come too. Any second now, $100,000 is going to show up. Ready, ready, ready? Yes! No! Hi, Mrs. Oglethorpe. Wait, did you come to donate $100,000? Oh, dearies, you've rearranged again. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, and a, and a kitty chino for Mrs. Wattles broke here. We're closed, the cafe's for sale. It's no problem. Mason, I think we just gotta raise the money ourselves. We could shovel snow. Oh, that's impossible. The snow's melting. It's April. Oh, I got it. We can sell lemonade. Mm -hmm. It's too cold. It's April. We could mow lawns. No, nope, it's, it's April. April. I don't know. I just don't think there's a way we can save the cafe. Mrs. Oglethorpe paid us. We now have $99,996 to go. Great. Just great. Why isn't God doing anything? Great. God doesn't always do what we want. Or maybe 
It's up to us. I mean, Blake and Mason are already out there trying to earn money. Yeah, I heard them offering to walk the mayor's dog earlier. I don't even think she has a dog. Okay, so God won't fix it, and Blake and Mason aren't getting anywhere. That means it's up to you and me to save the cafe. I don't have $100,000 laying around. I have some other ideas. Hello, Madam Mayor. Yes, this is Brie Bacaliri, and I'm calling to request that you declare the Comics Cafe an official historical site. It is, what? Oh, it doesn't work like that? Well, how does it work? Here we go. Yeah, no one can buy the cafe if no one can get in. Maybe we can discover gold under the floorboards. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Look, I think what we need to do is just trust God with this. No, I have to fix this myself. Seven months ago, I never would have thought that I would care so much about this place. God, I really don't want the cafe to be sold but I trust you. Why is this happening? God, why don't you fix all of this? What can I do, God? I have my savings at home, $342, but that's not nearly enough. Maybe you know something that I don't. I'll be back in a bit. Seriously, man, who wants to walk all over town? How do we make only $12? Yeah, for walking Mrs. Oglethorpe's cat. Yuck. Thank you, yes, yes. We'll be ready to sign the paperwork. Paperwork? No, that means... Yes, you'll be here as soon as you can. Excellent, thank you, yep, see you soon. And here I am. Oh, very good, very good, this is excellent. Good bones. Excellent structure. Excuse me, yeah, hi, who, who are you? My name's Lefty, I'm with Brightside Comics. You're the one who's buying the cafe. How did you get here so fast? Well, I did say I would be here as soon as possible. Ah, you must be my new workers. Blake Broccolini? Very wrong. Broccolini. Gazunheit. Hey, I've heard so much about you. You two look a lot alike. Yeah, well, we are twins, so. <laughs> You guys are twins? Mason, we're in the same grade at school. Have you been twins the whole time? Okay, focus. The point is, this can't be happening. Sorry, Lefty, but we prayed, and it wasn't a silly prayer or anything. Three, no, three, this four. is important. No, this is why I don't think I can follow God like you all do. Bree, can we just talk about this in a few minutes? Oh, just... I'm tired of talking. How can I trust God when he lets bad things like this happen? Bree, Bree, come on. All right, I've got the paperwork right here. Yes, of course. I really thought God cared about me. I thought that everything in my life was going to work out, but if that was true, why would God let this happen? And why won't he save the comics cafe? I'm Becca. Bree and Taylor are making some very different choices in Comics Cafe today. Did you notice? God, I really don't want the cafe to be sold. But I trust you. How can I trust God when he lets bad things like this happen? Bad things happen to all of us. And we all might wonder, like Bree, why should I trust God? To answer that question, it's time for a very special story from the Bible. Oh hey, I'm not a person from the Bible this week, I'm just a regular person. True, but what happens in the Bible matters for you too. What? How? Well, the people in the Bible were all real people, like you and me. And every person, no matter when they lived, has the same problem. Sin. Sin? What is that? Sin? means anything we do that God says is wrong. Hurting others, being unkind, 
fighting, lying, stealing, all those are examples of sin. What's going on? I know I've done some wrong things, but I can't even move. The problem with sin is that it keeps us from living the way God made us to. It hurts us and others and separates us from God. It's like we're trapped, stuck. So what do I do? I need help. That is exactly why Jesus came to earth. Jesus? Didn't he live like 2,000 years ago? What does that have to do with me? Well, Jesus wasn't just another person. Jesus was God with us. He was also a person like us. He grew up, ate food, slept, and felt all the same feelings we feel. Unlike us, though, Jesus never sinned. Never? Not once. Jesus perfectly showed us the way God made us to live. He even proved he was God by doing miracles, like walking on water, stopping storms, and healing people. So did Jesus just live this perfect life to prove that he could and leave all the rest of us stuck like this? No, Jesus came to earth to change the world, to give everyone a way to follow him and be connected to God again. One day, Jesus was put on trial by some people who hated him. What? But he'd never done anything wrong. That day, Jesus was nailed to a cross. He was punished like a criminal, even though he had never sinned. When Jesus died on that cross, something amazing happened. Jesus did something no one else could do. Whoa. Jesus took all our sin, all our punishment, and put it on himself. He did that for me? Yes, for you and for everyone. And because of what he did, we get to follow him and live for God every day. And one day, we'll get to live with Jesus forever. That sounds like a good thing, but didn't Jesus just die? Actually, on the third day after Jesus died, people went to see where he was buried and they found him alive. He had come back to life, leaving all our sin and death behind. He defeated sin, death, and any other thing that could keep us separated from God. That is the best news ever. I have to tell someone about this. Hey, happy Easter. On Easter, we remember the best news ever. Here it is. I am saved by what Jesus did. That's true for you, for me, and for every person in the world. We can be saved from sin because of what Jesus did. He loved you so much that he gave his life for you. That's why I follow Jesus and trust him with my life. I wonder what will happen to the Comics Cafe. And I really wonder if Brie will decide to trust God or if she'll keep on trying to fix things herself. We'll find out coming up next. I'll just need both of your signatures right there. Oh, okay. Uh, where's Cosmo? We need him to sign the paperwork, too. This is really happening, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, good! Cosmo, we're ready for you to... Oh, hello, Mrs. Oglethorpe. I'm not sure right now is the best time. Oh, hello, dearies. Mrs. Wattlesbrook and I are just here for our afternoon coffee. Yeah, Mrs. Oglethorpe, I'll get it for you. Just one sec. Thank you. All right, here you go. Is that my comic book? Oh, yes, dearie. Oh, I used to think I was too old to enjoy this sort of thing, but coming here just reminded me that that's just silly. Hey, you know what? Here, it's on the house. Well, don't you start being silly. Here. Uh, Mrs. Oglethorpe, this is this is five hundred dollars. A, a small coffee is only two seventy-five. Well, I heard you needed some help. I think you boys told almost everyone in town about the trouble this place is in. You've got me praying for you, and I got the church ladies praying for you too. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. O. Thanks. Hey, hey, this is this is great. Now, all we need is. Okay, uh, $99,484. Well, it's a good thing Mrs. Wattlesbrook and I aren't the only ones who want to help. <gasps> That's 
that's clearly not not gonna be enough. Uh, here's me. I'm sorry I'm late. I got held up by uh, everyone. Is, is that the mayor? Whoa. Uh, this, this is amazing. Right. We still need $342. Oh, we were so close! I don't know if this will help, but I brought my savings. <laughs> Mrs. K? Hi, Taylor. It's a long story. Um, well, I brought all the money that I saved this year. It's not much. Just $342. What? This is enough to pay off our debt. The Comics Cafe can stay! <laughs> that was an awesome day. God brought everyone together and saved the cafe. But there was something missing. Or I should say, some one missing. Is it true? Is it true? The comics cafe is staying. Brie, aren't you excited? I missed it. I can't believe I missed it. It's okay. <laughs> no, you asked God what to do and I was just so busy trying to save the cafe myself. This whole month, this, this whole year, you've trusted God and I've just been mad at him. Brie. No, I keep trying to make God do things for me, but I haven't wanted to do anything for him. When things got tough, I just ran away, and now I missed it. But God still loves you. He still accepts you. I know. That's what doesn't make any sense. But that's who God is. You know, he's... He's helped me this whole year, even when I didn't deserve it. I don't want to miss out on God's plan for me anymore. I need to decide to follow him. Can you help me? Of course. Okay. Hey God. Thanks for loving me and accepting me and sending Jesus for me and so many other things. I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. Can you forgive me? I believe that Jesus saved me and from now on, I'm going to choose to follow you. Amen. <laughs> Way to go, Bree. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. I want to tell the others. I really want to tell Blake and Mr. and Mrs. K and Mason. God saved the Comics Cafe. And he saved me too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think the Kirby's are still here. Let's go find them. Yeah. <laughs> If you're ready to ask Jesus to be the leader of your life, you can make that amazing decision today by trusting God with your whole life. Something that can help you do that is remembering A, B, C. A, admit that you have sinned, done things God says are wrong. B, believe that Jesus died on the cross and came back to life. Trust that he has saved you from sin. C, Choose to trust and follow Jesus with your whole life. When you do this, you're saying you want him to be your leader through every part of your life. You can make that decision right here, right now, by praying this prayer with me. 
When you pray, God hears you wherever you are. Know that just saying these words isn't what saves us. It's really believing in Jesus and trusting in him completely. If you're ready to make that decision, let's pray together now. God, thank you for loving me. I'm sorry for doing things that I know are wrong. I believe that Jesus is your son. I believe that he died on the cross, took my punishment, and came back to life so that I can be forgiven. Jesus, I ask you now to be my leader, savior, and friend forever. I choose to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you made that decision today, be sure to talk to your parent or an adult you trust. With that adult, click the link below this video and have them fill out the form to let us know you made this awesome decision. We want to celebrate with you and send you some things to help you get started following Jesus. I'm so glad you joined us this week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.